Okay, let's get started. Let me share my screen. Hi everyone, it's Karen here with Virtual Connectors and I promise to share some free tools and teach you how to use them. A lot of people have asked me how I stay organized and I use a tool called ISO Timer. So let's get started so I can show you how easy it is. There's no need to download anything, at least to your laptop. If you want to use the version for your smartphone, either go to the Google Play Store or iTunes and download the free app. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here is the tool. Let me show you how it works when you sign up. Okay, so we can get started. So here's the login page. As you can see, you go to isotimer.com and you're ready. Now, you'll find that Karen seems to be lazy because she likes to use her social networks to sign into most of her apps. And then she just goes to the email address that she wants to use with this particular account. There she goes. And here it is. As I said, it is a very easy tool to use. It is free. You can upgrade it, but I haven't done that, and I find that it works perfect. Let me walk you around, okay? Here are your settings. You set up your calendar, the way you want to format your time, the day, to, the day of the week you want to start, how you want to format your hours, and the calendar you want to import, and then you're set. Here are the tasks that I have to complete by the end of the day. And let's say one of these I feel that I've already done. So I click on that particular task, go to the date. And since that's something I try to do every day, I just move it to the next day. If I have something here, like let's say this tool that I want to move to maybe Sunday, I go all the way to Sunday and I move it to that date. Now. They give you the ability to add different categories to your uh, list. So let's say we want to do this. Create another, oops, I forgot the R on create. It's not good. There we go. Free lesson on a tool I use. Okay, and we want to say video lesson. Makes it easier for everyone. I decide that the task is worth in the A category. I need to get that done. I really don't want to do it today. I think maybe next week. So I go to next week, I'll say Monday. I apologize for that. Happens often because I work online. But anyway. And then I also pick the category, which would be building my business, and that's it. Okay. Now, uh, this is the clean up your tasks option. This is where you can go to set long-term goals and then break them into little bits so that you can get them done. And that's really a really cool option. This is your journal. Let's say you wake up and you had a dream, you want to write it down, or you have a story in your head, or project you want to get done you can put this down if you just want to give gratitude here's a great journal for you and this is the calendar just like google calendar you fill it out so that you know where you're supposed to be who you're supposed to meet what appointment you have whose birthday it is okay and as i said this is what i see i use this every day and i have it also on my smartphone let me take you over there i use an android so i went to the google store and I downloaded this one. As you can see, they do have a free version. I've never used it, but I just downloaded this one. You have an Apple, you know you need to go to the iTunes store. Okay, I hope this helped you in getting organized, getting things done, to stop procrastinating. I love sharing these free tools. I have millions of them, and I'm not exaggerating. So I will put together a new video. I'll try to do them once a week. And so if you can, subscribe to my blog so that you're privy to these tools. I'll always try to keep them free or cheap because that's how I do it. And again, I thank you for your time. I wish you the best start to your week, and I look forward to seeing you on the next 
video class. Bye now.